Hi, my name's Tracy and I'm a mortician. And I'm Trish and I'm not. And welcome back to another episode of... Are you dying to know? Because Trish is <laughs> dying to know. I am dying to know. <laughs> what? Hello. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm very good, thank Fabulous. you. Fabulous. I've got to say this name before I forget it because okay. I'm not reading it. Heffenrosser. Hello. <laughs> Did I get that right? I hope so. Yeah. Has asked a question. Yes. And the question is, no, it wasn't actually, it was a statement. Heffenrosser has always been uh, a little bit obsessed with things like famous embalms and was interested to know about Eva Peron. Ah, uh, Evita, mm. Evita. Yeah, yeah. I love that movie, my Madonna in it, I love it. It's a great movie, I've seen it several times. I've got the CD played in the car. Oh, I think I can sing like it, but I can't. There you go. Anyway, um, sorry about that. Heaven Rosser would like to know a, a little bit about that. And um, so I put the question to our um, friendly mortician embalmer here. And this is what she came up with. <laughs> well, <laughs> I really know nothing about it. Honesty <laughs> uh, is the best policy. Embalming. You, you know, weren't there? So you I don't wasn't know? there. So what I did, I was just Googled a few things to find out a few things. Now, I'll just give you a little snippet, but we're not going to go into great details. And the reason I'm not going to go into great detail is because Caitlin, the mortician that has her own YouTube channel, and it's very famous, and she's done a, a one on Eva Perone. So I would recommend you check it out. See what she says about it because she's done all the, exactly the same as what I've found here, but she's done a good presentation on it. So yeah, check that one out and she'll go through it uh, the way she does go through it. So it, it's interesting. It's cool. So how did you get your info? So I just went onto Google. Okay, so speaking of Googling, there's my segue. I just like to say to the person who asked where to get the vomit powder from, oh, AKA yes. the absorption powder, yeah. I Googled it. And um, can I just butt in and tell yeah. them this little fact first? Yeah. All right. So um, let me just, no, I don't have it here. Ha, ha, ha. Just sing amongst yourselves. No. So it was, it was Grandmaster Hippie. And Grandmaster Hippie said, for purely educational purposes, where might someone procure such a product? Now, I know that it's probably not in our friendly mortician embalmer's realm to tell us where she gets her embalming equipment and um, chemicals from. It's probably a good idea that we keep that a little bit, you know, on the down low yeah. for obvious reasons. But I Googled it and um, I found a few different variations. So if you just hit Google Grandmaster Hippie, uh, and you'll get something called, if I could actually call it up, it would be lovely, but um, there's a product called Suck It Up, <laughs> and it's available. It's a biohazard absorbent, and it's actually $13.75 Australian. That's so cheap. there you go. You can get that. Wow. There's a vomit control agent. that You could buy a tub of 3.5 kilos of the stuff from a place called North Fork, uh, and I found another one which was called Infectious Waste Body Fluid Cleanup Absorption Powder, and you can get that on eBay, and it's $11.62 for a little sachet. So go. just letting you know, there's a few others. There's something called Wags Carpet Powder for pet spills. Okay. Pet right. spills. Oh, yeah. Uh, and there's another one called Vomit Cleanup. Mm -hmm. So just Google it. Yay. Anyway, back to Ava and Tracy. And Evita. Evita. Okay, so just a little, I'm just going to read because, I, like I say, I don't know anything about it. But what I found interesting about what I Googled is, um, you know, I don't have to tell you the story of Ava Peron, how she became so famous by uh, marrying Juan Peron. And it was him, her husband, that actually before she died, when because she died um, of cer she had cervical cancer, um, which is well known, um, because she was so famous, he wanted to keep her alive as much as possible, so was doing all kinds of stuff. Apparently, even um, was given a, a too much morphine. Apparently, she didn't know what she had that was wrong with her and kept her morphined up. And also, allegedly, during what I found on Google, is that he also had a lobotomized so whilst during one of her procedures. Right. Anyway, in the meantime, because she was the influence and brought him all the influence, uh, you know, to Argentina, making him great. So he was already uh, in touch with um, a, a doctor called Dr. Pedro Air, A-R-A-R-A, Air, 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 Yeah, Dr. Pedro Air, he was a young doctor 
Mr. Popular for his impeccable work, apparently an embalming. You know, so, so he got in contact with them before, before she died. Before she died. So mm. he um, or obviously said, you know, when she does die, I want you as the embalmer to embalm her because he is probably, he's well known for his impeccable embalming. Mm -hmm. uh, and apparently he had a secret formula to preserve bodies uh, impeccably is what was written down in the Google. So he had a secret formula. But apparently he did that. So Juan Perón was already... You know, ready to embalm uh, Ava Peron. Probably not with her consent neither. She probably once she passed. Allegedly. Just want to go. I just found that interesting that it was already underway. Uh, underway. Oh, we do know. it now when we do prepaid funerals. Well, we do, but the person's usually known. But whether or not that's just a made up story, because, you know, history kind of likes to have a story and we like to make it more elaborate. And maybe she did know, maybe she consented to being embalmed when she passed away. So, um, so what? I found interesting when he did eventually uh, get to embalm Ava Perón is that for a whole year he embalmed and preserved Ava's body um, every day. What? For every day for a year. Yeah. If he did it right the first time, he wouldn't have had to do it again, would he? No, he, he, uh, he wanted to uh, preserve but immortalise her remains as if she was living. Okay, so apparently people said she looked like a wax doll and he would inject her system every day with his secret formula for a year. You know, so But why would you have to? As an embalmer, if you did it properly the first time, wouldn't it be done? Well, yeah, but he's wanting to basically turn her into basically a wax doll. Right. You know, um in preserve her to make her look like she's living. Um So wouldn't somebody that you embalmed normally look like that though? Yeah, but um, we're talking probably uh, they wouldn't look waxy and dolly because I, I I don't do that kind of intense embalming. Yeah. So you know, the embalming I do, even though it, high percentage embalming, the chemicals I use are a lot softer. Mm -hmm. So yes, they last for a long, long, long time, but not in the way that this uh, doctor wanted this Ava Perón to be like, look like we do. like every So day would that like her. plump her up every day? So basically, he's, whatever his secret uh, chemical is, and I did read in Google that he put a wax coating over her as well. Right. So um, injecting her every day with this secret chemical was obviously keeping her well preserved right. and well plumped and, mm. and like hydrated, hydrated and, you know, mm. making her look lifelike constantly all the time. But apparently he was very obsessed with her and, you know, it was an obsessive thing. Was she on show during this time? Yeah, she, she was <coughs> on show. I don't know if, uh, I think she was on show after he'd embalmed her for the year, after he'd been looking after her and then she went on show and she... She went on show, and there's if you like I say, if you go and listen to Caitlin or Google it yourself, you will find that uh, she went missing. You know, so her body was lost, and it went somewhere else, and it was somewhere else, and it went to Milan. Wow! And, yeah, so her body was all over the place, and for twenty years it went missing, and then the found then the found it twenty years later, and there was some damage. Apparently, her toes were all crushed, her nose was crushed, and th there was all kinds of stuff like. Stuff had been put on top of her and all kinds. So there's, you know, all kinds wow. of stuff. But she is now interred into a vault that apparently nobody can get in anymore. So oh, thank goodness for it that. It took like 20 years after her death before that happened. Isn't that sad? Yeah, it's very sad. So she was pulled and bought, you know, so she was all over. Everyone so, wanted a piece of Ava. Uh, yeah, mm. everybody wanted a piece of Ava. So, yeah, interesting. I found it interesting. But then when I listened to Caitlin, she told me all what I'd Googled. So <laughs> it, it was, like, quite interesting to listen to Caitlin and doing that. So, yeah, go check her video out. It'll be good. And... Thanks it's, for the uh, question or yeah, the statement or the comment. Yes. <laughs> I don't remember what it was, yes. but thanks. Yes. That was interesting. Yeah. I've never thought about that. Yeah, I've never, you know, I've always liked the story of Eva Perón and mm. watched the video and, mm -hmm. you know, all the, you know, all that kind, but I never really investigated the, mm. I knew she was embalmed and displayed, but I just thought it was like normal line and state and then she was, you know, Taken off again, an internet or whatever. But I realise she'd gone missing and all of this kind of it's stuff. It's interesting because we often, well, not often, but a few times we've had questions about famous people mm. and how they would have been treated and the royal family and yeah, that sort of was topical right. about a year ago yeah. and that sort of thing. But really, I mean, what you know about that is only from what you get off the internet as Absolutely. much as anybody else. Absolutely. It's not something you study in your 
course no, or anything. Uh, no, 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 it's not. And I've never dealt with anybody as famous as any people like that. You know, the famous people I have are locally famous, mm. you know, like celebs that we know here, but you've not know out in the world. But uh, so, yeah, interesting. So, yeah, cool. thanks very thanks much. Thanks for, for doing that, that research, Trace. Yeah, that was a, props. an interesting one. Yeah, thanks for asking the question. Thank you. All right, guys. Take care. Take Till care. next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.